Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. I hope you guys are having a great, great day. Um, we have some more news. I just posted about um, Atlanta hiring Raheem, Raheem Morris. Um, surprisingly, after Mike Vrabel seemed like he might have been a shoe in but ended up saying, Saying that he wanted Arthur Smith to be his offensive coordinator, the guy they just fired as head coach. So that ended up killing that dream. Dan Quinn has done his second interview with the Seattle Seahawks and right now does not have the job as far as I know. But here's where it's going to be interesting, really going to be interesting, because Dan Quinn has his third meeting, not his first, not his second, but his third meeting with the commanders. Uh, this broke about an hour and a half ago. And of course, I'm just catching up here. Managing partner Josh Harris introduced Adam Peters at the Washington Command. Okay. Um, they are conducting head coaching search that began early January, and they have been linked to nine candidates. There's thir currently, okay, see, this is how old this was. There were three head coaching jobs left in the NFL. Okay, so be that as it may, um, the commanders also interviewed their offensive coordinator, Eric Bieniemy, along with Dan Quinn, Rams Raheem Morris. Now he's out. Lions offensive coordinator, Ben Johnson. Texans offensive coordinator, Bobby, uh, Bobby Sowick, uh, last week. So that is where they stand. And so if Dan Quinn's coming back for a third one, I have not yet to hear of anyone else who's going back for a third interview. So that will be interesting to see Dan Quinn on the other sideline here. Again, that's the guy who may know where the bodies are buried with the Dallas Cowboys and would definitely have some inside intel. Definitely would have some inside intel on being able to try and stop Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. So something that definitely bears watching. Um, my last video I was talking about, it seemed like to me that we were pretty likely to be losing Dan uh, Quinn. Um, I thought for sure it would be with the Seattle Seahawks, but maybe it's going to be with the commanders. The question becomes now is, who will be the Dallas Cowboys defensive coordinator? Um, Al Harris is beginning to get a lot of love and stuff from the Green Bay Packers, um, at least the fan base and stuff that would like to see him come home uh, to Atlanta to become their young defensive coordinator. Um, supposedly, Joe Witt might be going wherever Dan Quinn goes. So it could be that while everybody is out here looking for uh, coordinators and everything else that the Cowboys have been on the sidelines as usual being more reactive than proactive on trying to figure out what the hell they're going to do and may end up being another case where they are left holding the bag because they waited that they're not going to have as good options as other people have uh, maybe Mike Vrabel not getting the head coaching jobs that maybe he would be a possibility uh, for the Dallas Cowboys. But this is definitely Bears watching, to say the least. So we will keep, this, keep up with this with you guys, and we'll let you know what we find out.